Hello everybody, Paul Watcher into the today. You're probably wondering, are Five Nights at Freddy's theories? Hmm. I never do that kind of thing. Well today I'm gonna to talk about my theories with the four pictures Scott has released. Now you probably want what are the four pictures? Well the five nights. Can I take my up with that sound answer? Anyway, the Five Nights at Freddy's 2 game. Which has been confirmed by Scott. Now four pictures we're gonna look at and I'm gonna have my opinions and my theories of what the pictures are gonna probably introduce or what's gonna be in the second game. So first things first, the first picture is gonna be a two or one second image for you to see of each of the pictures. So first things first, let's go. Anyway, the first one is Freddy Fast Bear with the words Grand Reopening. Now as you can tell, Freddy First Bear looks more up to date. Now he hasn't changed much besides his coat being more more graphical up to date instead of the like Buffy A kisses Freddy First Bear. You know, the you know the typical kitty look and now he's a bit more get the F away from me or I'll punch your eye itself kind of scariness. Now I do like he's more up to date, you see some tears around his arms, and you know what, he looks scary. He is scary in the first one, and he looks a bit derp. But I can't deny Scott's amazing skills with the first one, and hell, I got the game, it's just the best. And anyone says it's not scary, um, how about playing on 2020, that'll get ya. <laughs> Poor Marker Player, I'll leave down the link as well for Marker Player doing 2020 um, but yeah you've probably already seen this image but um, my theories with it now obviously the question is how's the pizzeria back to business how is it grand reopening if it was closed down with the five children murdered the killer and obviously guards disappearing and a strange policy the phone guy so many questions unyet answered by certain events, like who's the fifth child? Now, I think the fifth child is an exoskeleton on the table where Bonnie ignores. I think that's the fifth child, and the new Foxy, which we'll get to soon. So, yeah, um, I prefer this new Freddy to the old one, and I think this new one's going to be more of a pain in the ass if Scott up update Freddy's, you know, pattern of when to get ya, you know. Something to look forward to Halloween. Now uh, it will make sense coming out 2015. Oh well. Next picture. Now you could probably seen the new Barney. Something borrowed, something new. Now if you are confused, what does it mean by something borrowed? Obviously enough, Barney's face has been ripped off. <laughs> it the reason Barney's face is ripped off is the membrane. Basically the brain of the exoskeleton was removed and transplanted to a new exoskeleton will probably be more accurate and more movability so that means Barney would be more of a dickhead now. I hate that rabbit so damn much. I just hate that rabbit. Anyway, we can easily tell the new Barney looks more movability. Obviously enough he's going to probably be more active as it's always the first one to disappear. Sometimes Chica but you never know really. Now, the new Barney looks more kid friendly, more of a Hey kids, it's Barney! And looks more something I want to hug instead of running away. Yeah, I think Scott needs to think that, because I prefer the old one, which makes me want to go Goodbye! And the new Barney, I just want to hug. Because seriously, why do I want to hug it? Just run! But the idea of being stuffed in a suit's not nice, isn't it? But yet again, it's still the same body, I presume, but with a new body, and obviously probably be more of a pain in the ass to deal with. And you know what? I think that's what this new body's gonna be. And more of an asshole than the old one. So, with Barney out of the way, to remind you, the brain of the exoskeleton, more like this, the child's soul, is transferred to the new body, but it's still Barney mentally, but with a new body. Just imagine. Okay, next picture. Okay, now this one's a little bit strange as we have two foxies. 
Now, with the old one, we can see, but it's definitely Foxy, but look at the one on the right. The new Foxy's core is bigger, more shinier, and the new Foxy looks more up-to-date to the old one. So maybe this new Foxy is replacing the old one, but the old Foxy is going to be somewhere in the pizzeria being repaired or having some new things added in. Now, obviously, the exoskeleton of the old Foxy can't be in the new, in the new skin. My bet is that the fifth child is in that fifth exoskeleton, which sometimes looks at the cameras and where Bonnie goes to, which is at the backstage, just to tell you. And that exoskeleton is in the new Foxy. Like Scott said, Foxy will come in more than one ways, I think, or two, if I'm not correct. But please, someone comment saying, yeah, guys, if I say something incorrect or something wrong, just correct me, because I'm not lying to you guys, correct me. <sighs> oh well, I'm only human. I bet I'm going to get stuffed, though. Ugh, the idea of being stuffed. Now, I like the idea. I think this new Foxy will probably come to the right side of the guard room, and the old one will come to the left as normal, we'll probably running. So, yeah, or it could be vice versa. You, you don't really know, really, but... I'm really looking forward to see this, because I'm actually excited. So, with new Foxy, or Foxetto, or whatever you want to call it, really, I say Foxy too. And, you know what? I think this one's going to be a pain in the ass. And make more Fire Nights Freddy's even more scary. I actually got two to look at and keep an eye on before getting mauled to death or having a major heart attack. <gasps> You get the picture, really. Now to the next picture, the final one. Now on this picture is a new one, which has been released uh, today or yesterday or whenever it came out. Not really that long. Um, we can see Foxy on the distance with the right eye socket, and we see Mike in a Freddy Fazbear costume. We have not been stuffed, but here's my theories. I think. This is probably confirmed from Mike as, well not Mike, Scott, beg my pardon, as we're going to probably be moving around in Freddy vs. Bears. We're going to actually be walking around the pizzeria instead of staying in that goddamn guard room, which in my opinion is not safe either way because of limited power. And the Foxy, the old one, which we can see, um, my opinion, looks a bit fucked up. That I'll be like, see you later, shotgun to the face. Or how Smosh say it, to the face. I think I just did that so wrong. Ugh. If you want to know what that punchline is, it's from, um, How to Stop a Rob or something like that. I'll leave that in the description. And mine fail. Love that. Now, obviously enough, we're going to probably be walking. Stupid hat. Ugh. Sorry. Anyway, we're well, obviously going to be walking around the pizza here. I'd be like, off to walk around and holy shit! Dead. But no, I think the way the AI one might work with this new one, as I guess when you're wearing the suit, they won't think you're an exoskeleton without a costume. Think about it. When the phone guy said if they see an exoskeleton without a costume, they'll forcefully stuff it in. So. And a lot of commentators and YouTubers said, why the guards not dressed up as one of the, excuse me, as one of the characters? And you know what? Hey, Scott has done that. So, thank you, YouTube community, for actually saying about that. Now we actually <laughs> get, a, get another Freddy. <sighs> anyway, I can easily tell that we're going to walk around the PC area, and many questions, are we going to be... Are we going to enter the kitchen? That's the question. Are we going to be in the kitchen and see what's in there? Golden Freddy! Ah! He's already that scary. Just slap him. Now nah, that won't work. I'll be dead. Anyway. Now yet again, I'm looking forward to it. And when the next picture comes in, I'll do another video. Also, check out my 100th video here. Which is all nice, nicely green. Or something like that when I finish it. Check it out, it's my 100th video, I did, and I guess when I want to hit, when I upload 1 million videos, or let's say 500 would be a better idea, it will be better, 
So, yet again, uh, thank you very much for watching and thanks for the support. And you know what? I'm looking forward to it. And if you guys really enjoy these kind of videos, I'm going to do these theories. If you want me to do more, slap in the comments. Slap it. We want more theory videos. But I've already seen some other YouTubers do it. I thought, hey, why the hell not, really? Because, you know what? I'm a Freddy fan. You know what? If Freddy Fuzz Bear was real, I would work there. Just sit on my chair. Just trolling the guys going, yeah, we got doors. Which don't require electricity. But again, that wouldn't be fun if I don't want to die. Anyway, so thank you very much. I hope to see you later or soon. And you know what? Have a nice day. Do me a favour. Watch out for Foxy and Bonnie. I hate that rabbit. <laughs>